This is the Crunk Grills Mold Kit instruction video. It's going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of making the do-it-yourself mold kit. First thing you want to do is go to crunkgrills.com. Click on the tab up top that says buy a mold kit. Or you can order the mold kit at the same time you're ordering your grill. So you want to select top or bottom, top and bottom mold kit, and we ship it to you. You'll get it in a couple days. In the mold kit, you're going to have everything that you need. It's going to have the imprint powder, the rock powder. You're going to have a mixing cup. And you're going to have the tray. And a mold kit instruction brochure. You definitely want to read through this. We're doing the video to help you out. But um, if you want to read through it for any references, you can do that as well. Only thing you need to get is some napkins. You're going to need a mixing bowl. We provide you a mixing stick or you can use a mixing stick of your own um, and some water. Um, bottled water works great. The colder the water is, the longer the impression actually takes to set up. So it gives you more time to work with the mix when you're doing it. So open everything up. You want to lay it all out. And the first thing we're going to do here is the uh, impression. You're going to measure out 40 milliliters of impression with the mixing cup that we give you. And don't pack it, just put it into the container. Once you have that, put it into your mixing cup. Next, you want to measure out 30 milliliters of water. And um, like I said, bottled water works great. The colder the water, the longer you have to mix it with. If you use warm water, it'll dry up really fast. So cold with water, it'll give you two to four minutes to use, which is great. Once you have uh, 30 milliliters measured out, go ahead and mix it. This is when the clock starts. So you want to mix this up till it looks like bubble gum. You don't want any white powder chunks. You want it all to be the same consistency throughout the whole mixing bowl. So make sure you got the tray close by because once you... Uh, do this. If you see that you need a little bit more water, go ahead and add it. But you're on a time limit here, so you want to be mixing this pretty quick. And um, once it's all the same consistency, like peanut butter, you're going to be scooping it out of there and putting it into the tray. Sometimes it takes like a minute to mix, usually less. You want to get it all off the edges. Make sure you get everything out of the mixing bowl. You don't want to leave any material inside of there. This is the right consistency. It's like nice and thick, like peanut butter. And you get the mouth tray out. The impression material you're going to want to load right around the outside edge where your teeth are going to hit all the way up to the top. So go ahead and scoop this out of there and load the tray. You want to get all the impression material in there. So the more you have in there, the better so you can get a clean gum line on the front and the back of your teeth. There you go. And the next step, what you want to do is when you're putting this into your mouth and you're pushing it up onto your teeth, you want to hold your lip out of the way with the other hand. You don't want your lip to hold the material or get in the way. So use one hand to hold your lip. You're going to put the whole tray into your mouth and then you're going to push it all the way up onto your teeth so you can get a good impression of your teeth. Now, you're going to hold that there for a couple minutes. The best way to do this is you look at the mixing bowl that you used. When everything turns white, you'll know that the impression's dry. You can pull it out of your mouth. Once you pull it out, what you're looking for is clean tips and clean gum lines. You can see the outline of your teeth in the tray all the way around. The outline looks good. You did a good job. You're good to go. <clears throat> the impression material, since it's hardened, it comes right out of the bowl. You can just clean it out with a napkin. It's real easy. And we're going to get ready for the next step in the process, which is making the rock form 
the positive form of the impression. <clears throat> so with the rock, you're going to need to measure out 30 milliliters of the rock powder. And you want to make sure that the tray doesn't have any saliva in it. Make sure that it's dried out before you pour anything into it. So let's measure out 30 milliliters of rock. And when you're mixing this also, you want it to look just like peanut butter also. You don't want it too watery. So you want to start off with 10 milliliters of water. And if you need any more water, you can add a couple more no more than 15 milliliters of water but start at 10 that's the best way to do this you'll get a perfect mold every time so measure out 30 milliliters of imprint pour it into the mixing bowl then you use your bottled water and measure out 10 to start so this is the best way to do it start with 10 milliliters if you get a good consistency you don't need to add any more water you're good so you want to mix this up, make sure there's no clumps, it's all really smooth because you don't want any air pockets in the mold. You'll see as you're mixing it, it'll clump up in areas and it'll just smooth all out and it'll look like a little bit runnier than peanut butter, but that's perfect. So once you have that, you're going to have your tray right there. <clears throat> like I said, you already dried out the tray. There's no saliva in it. So when you pour the rock into the tray, you're going to get a clean mold of your teeth. So when you're pouring it in, you don't want to pour it right onto the teeth. You want to pour it onto the center of the tray and let it roll into the teeth. That's going to help not have any air bubbles. So I'll give it one more mix right before you pour it and then you go ahead and pour the rock <clears throat> right onto the tray and let it roll down into the teeth make sure you get it all out of there the more rock you have in the mold the stronger it's going to be so that's good you can fill the whole thing up like this it's going to be okay after we pour all the rock into it. We're going to actually take the tray and tap it out to get rid of any air pockets that you have in it. Go ahead and scoop it all out of there. And once you have it in the tray, just use your mixing stick. Go ahead and push it down into all the teeth, to all the areas that you need the rock to go. Now, while you're doing this, you could actually pick up the tray and tap it while you're doing it, or you can do it at the end. It's completely up to you, but either way, you're still going to have to grab the tray and just pick it up and tap it down on the table, and this is going to release any air pockets that you have. You want to do this, you'll see the, the actual rock sink down into the mold, and all the air bubbles will pop right out. And that's it. You're going to let this sit now for about four to six hours. Go ahead and check on it so you can split them apart. And during this time, you could go ahead to Crunk Grills, take a look at all the grills that you want to see, and pick out the one you want and order it if you haven't already. Now, when you split the mold, what we're looking for is clean gum lines and clean tips. If you have little air pockets or little bubbles in the tips, that's okay. We can work with it. But the main thing we need is a clean gum line, and we need the tips as clean as possible. So if the mold came out like this, we're good to go. You're going to package it up, get ready to mail it. If it came out like this one and it has big air pockets and a bad gum line, you have to start all over again because we cannot use this and make you a lifetime warranty grill with it. So go back on crunkgrills.com. We do sell the mixes alone or you can buy a whole new mold kit. It's completely up to you. But if you follow these directions and you use this video, you uh, should be able to have a perfect mold.